Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint online tutorial and myself Ruslin and in this video we will learn about SharePoint online group calendar web part and how we can create a new event and how we can view the upcoming events and past event in the modern SharePoint site pages. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. Initially, we will see about what is SharePoint Online Group Calendar Web Part and what is the difference between Group Calendar and the Event Web Part and how we can sync the Group Calendar Web Part with the Outlook and how we can create a new event, how we can edit a new event and how we can delete or cancel an event in the modern SharePoint Group Calendar. And this is a SharePoint Online Group Calendar Web Part which means when we create a team site or communication site in the SharePoint by default a shared calendar will be provided by the Microsoft 365 group which is connected to the uh, sites that we are creating and in the site every member or every group member can schedule a session or conference on a group calendar in Outlook every group has a few members every member can schedule edit and see the upcoming events and the past events in the modern SharePoint site page and this is how it looks like when we create an event now I will show you how to create a new event in modern SharePoint site page initially log in to the office 365 home and open the SharePoint in new tab and select the site page where you want to add a group calendar web part here I am going to choose the communication site page and click on the edit icon over here here I have already added the group calendar web part if you don't know how to add select the section over here click on the add icon and search for the group calendar web part here you can see the group calendar web part is added when you edit the web part here you can see you select the group for which you have uh, assigned the events so in this example I am going to choose this site so that uh, here you can see the upcoming events and the past events over here and when you click on the republish icon it will the changes will be saved and it will be reflected in our modern SharePoint site to create a new event open the outlook over here and choose the calendar option over here and select the date for which you want to create an event here I am going to choose this August 25 and click on the new event over here and give the title as and select the group that which you want to create so that the group members will able to attend the team meet here I am not inviting any group members that's the reason it is showing here an invitation only sent to the group members unlike unless you invite them so if you click on invite members here you can see the by default the team members are selected and here you can choose the date and the time that you want to schedule the meeting here i am going to select 4 to 5 which is on our and here we can remind them like at the time of event or 5 minutes before we can choose whatever option that we want based on the requirement and when you click on the send option the group members will be invited over there so that they can participate in the team meet and I am going to click send over here and you can see the event created pop up over here so this is how we can create a new event in the SharePoint online group calendar web part and when you go to the modern SharePoint site pages and here you can see the sync calendar option when you sync on it you can see the upcoming upcoming event is available in the group calendar web part you can see here only when I sync it the particular web part it will the changes will be reflected and we can see the newly added event in the upcoming events and this is the two web parts one is group calendar web part and another one is event web part what is the different main difference between them is every group uh, when we 
create a site pages they, by default the shared calendar will be provided and they can easily schedule and edit and see the upcoming events but in the event web part we can only show event details so that the user will get enough information regarding the particular event and in group calendar web part we can uh, view the events upcoming events in the edit mode itself but in the event web part we cannot view like that only when the page is saved or published in that case only we can view the upcoming events but in the edit mode we, it is not possible to view the upcoming events in events web part now we will see uh, how we can sync the calendar with outlook when you add the group calendar over here you can see the sync option is presented in the uh, web part only so when you select that sync option in the top of the group calendar web part the calendar will be automatically synced with the outlook so that we can check the newly uh, added or upcoming events which are presented in the outlook will be displayed in the group calendar web part in our modern sharepoint site pages to refresh the group calendar web part we use the sync option so that we can able to view the latest events once it is sync we can view the upcoming events over that are newly added in our outlook here in this example you can see here i have refreshed this calendar that's the reason i am getting the newly created meeting in the upcoming tab whereas in the second group calendar web part i didn't sync the calendar option that is the reason i could not able to see the upcoming event so when i click on the sync calendar option the upcoming event will also will be reflected in the modern sharepoint site page group calendar web part from the outlook this is how we can sync the group calendar web part with the outlook so to view the latest events or upcoming events in the group calendar web part modern sharepoint site page next we will see how we can edit a created event in group calendar for that open the outlook part and select the event which that you want to edit and click on the edit option and update the event that you want to change either we can change the location or the description part whatever you want just edit the event and choose the send option it will be automatically sent to the group members and through mail they will get the updated event messages and only the group members will if they are invited they will be uh, getting updates in their inboxes else the event will be updated in the web part only if the members are not invited they will not get any updates in their in inboxes now we will see how to edit an event so that select the event that you have created in the calendar and you can see the edit option is presented over here so click on the edit option and more options over here here i am going to change monthly meet to monthly mm, monthly team meeting here you can see if i invite the members then you can see the send option over here and the group members will receive an invitation in their inbox if i didn't invite them it will be uh, saved or scheduled in the calendar and displayed in the group calendar web part now i am going to save here you can see the event uh, is saved in the pop-up so when you when i go to the group calendar web part and when i click on the sync calendar option here you can see the monthly meet is changed to monthly team meeting this is how we can edit an event so that the changes will be up, updated and reflected in the modern sharepoint site page and if you want to join meeting you can see the join option over here so that directly you can click on the join option and join the particular meeting in modern sharepoint site group calendar web part as i previously said you can see here the edit option is presented over here so when you click and we can select the event 
and click on the edit option and now we will see how we can cancel an event or delete an event in group calendar web part select the event that you want to delete or cancel the event from the group calendar web part and if the members are invited they will be notified as the event has been cancelled or something the message that we are going to give will be received in their inboxes if the group members are not invited then the changes will not be notified to their group members it will be just updated in our web part and, and in our modern sharepoint site pages so better and every time when you create an event it is uh, good to invite the group members so that the changes are, will be notified to the group members and they will be get enough information regarding the event and to cancel or delete here we can see when we select the event cancel option or the delete option over there i will show you how to cancel and delete an event from the group calendar here select the event and there is a cancel option over there click on the cancel option and cancel event and notify attendees here i have invited the group members so it will be notified to the uh, particular group and click on the send option you can see the event has been cancelled if you want to undo it we can select undo option else we can leave it like that only and when you come to the modern sharepoint site page group calendar web part here i have cancelled this call so when i sync you can see only the team meet is presented here you can see only the monthly team meeting is presented and the previous sharepoint team meeting is has been deleted that event has been deleted so this is how we can delete or cancel the upcoming events we learned like how we can create a new event and how we can edit an event how we can delete an event in this sharepoint online tutorial and also we learned uh, what is the difference between group calendar web part and the event web part so with this we came to the end of this video thanks for watching this video if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want to learn about power apps power automate power bi python and machine learning free video tutorials are presented in our youtube channel